Hello, my crafty friends. It is time for a planner flip through. That's the theme song for planner flip throughs, I guess. But um, yeah, I am so happy to jump on today and share my planner for the month of April with you guys. So as you can see, I'm doing stuff a little bit different. This is my planner. It's brand new. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It was $39.99 and I had a 40% off coupon, which brought it down to like $24. And um, I love it. I like the little like paint swatches. That's why I got it. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm usually not a big fan of ring bound planners. Like here's my planner that I usually use. And I made this one. This is March. Um, and as you can see, it's missing some of the stuff. Um, but... I usually like these kind of planners and you can see like the difference in size so they both a5 but this one has like um it's just a lot bigger but i like this so i wanted to give it i like the print so i wanted to give it a try and i felt like it was very springy so you know like why not why not so let's open it up and get in here let's look at that beauty look at that beauty ooh, ooh. <laughs> I really like the way this came together so here is like my little pocket on the side I kind of went overboard this month but you know what who cares I think it's pretty I really like the way the little umbrella and the rain boots look and this is the washi tag and with the butterflies and the bow and I end up having to switch this around because when I opened it up the paper was kind of weird so I did add a little bit of glitter on here. I don't think it's gonna show, but I did add glitter to like this part. And I put this charm, this uh, my chunky charm on here. I don't know if it's gonna stay cause it's really chunky, but I like it. Um, so I'll let you see that a close up. So I have my stickers here, extra sheet of paper, just stuck it down in there. I have my goals. Right, then we have the month at a glance. Um, I use this not so much as I use like the other stuff. Um, this is just kind of flip through and I just put like some standout days. I usually use my phone for this um, like when I'm just putting in stuff but since they give us the layout I go ahead and use it which I think is cute. Just minimal stuff that I just jotted in. I use most of their stickers like birthday, spring cleaning. Next weekend I am trying to, um, I'm going to go through my upper part of the house <laughs> and clean and get rid of some stuff. And then the following weekend I think I do the downstairs. But that's what I want to do next weekend. I didn't know what to do with, uh, with these pages. Like I never use this one. I got to find something to do with it. Um... I don't know. I might end up trying to put do like a photo layout or something. I don't know. But I never use them because um, I don't do like future logging in my like this type of calendar. I do it in my phone because, you know, these pages switch out. And then this page was like the back of one of these. But I really just needed this page here. But since it was there, I just kind of covered it up because I didn't really want the days of the week showing. And I just covered it with some washi tape. I used that cloud sticker. Um, and, well, it's not a sticker. It's a post-it note. And just added washi tape to it. And I'll figure something out. As the month goes on to, you know, decide what I want to do here. I am loving this layout right here. Like, the little gorgeous girl she just really makes this stand out and with her and her little umbrella i just love it and these are this is where i'm gonna put my focus for the week these are like they you my focus usually reflect my goals so like the goals here i'll take it like um i have to submit some papers to the licensing board here so what i'll do is um you know, this week I probably would focus on that. And then as I go through here, I break that down in steps because it's like so many um, different papers. I got to get letters of recommendations, um, transcripts and all that stuff and hours where I did um, clinical supervision. I got to get all that stuff turned in. So on Monday, I might focus on um, 
getting sending out my letters of recommendation to um, the folks who's gonna do them and you know like that and I do like the to do's more so on this side so oops, that's some of my hair um, so I really I'm really digging this layout um, like this so and then when you flip here I have two uh, just kind of like the blank pages and what I plan on doing here is um, doing my writings for uh, the books whichever book I'm reading right now I'm reading rest and release um, and it's a, like a daily um, kind of like a daily Bible study but I haven't been doing it daily honestly it's a 21 day um, pr program but I've been kind of spreading it out so it's probably going to be close to like a 20 week program by the time I get to, through with it I kind of do it like once a week and I kind of like that um, so I can kind of dedicate this to you know that um, and the writings for that and um, I can also use this page if I'm you know like if anything catch my attention I want to add more like pictures and stuff to my planners because I'm supposed to be doing a photo a day challenge. I always suck at those. But if I do, I can print out the little pictures. I have a selfie. I can print out the pictures and stick them in my planner. So here is for my gratitude. Every night I use the GLAD method. If you're not familiar with the GLAD method, I will link the video right up here. And it explains everything about it. But it's a journaling method. And it's used to boost your mindfulness and I like to use it to cultivate joy because you talk about the things that you are grateful for, the th something that you've learned that day, one thing you accomplished, and something that brought you delight or delighted you. And the acronym is GLAD, and you just basically go through those um, bullets every day. And this is my room for that. All right, and then it goes into the next week. And as you can see, I did a different little doll. And it's like a little girl standing in a puddle, which I just think that's so cute. And um, I cut these off of, let's see, they were for this page, like the daily to-dos. Um, I didn't use those that, this time. I used them last month. And honestly, some days I would use them. Some days I wouldn't. Like on my lazy days, I didn't really use them. Um, so I figured I'd just do this layout for every day. It'll work a little bit better. But one thing I did like was having like the thing to check off water. So I fussy cut it out and then I put the days of the week on there and I just hand wrote them. And what I'm going to do is after I drink all my water for that day, then I get a little check mark instead of like checking it out for each glass of water, which I rarely did. Um, I can do it this way and that makes sense make a little bit more sense for my lifestyle because I don't have time to just like drink a glass of water go run and check it off I'm not doing that so um, this will give me incentive to the to see it out by the week it'll give me an incentive to want to get all my little check marks on there for the week and I can do it once a day because I do look at this um, I do look at this every week I mean look at it every day of the week um, so it works out all right and that just kind of repeats itself and then this is the last week as you guys remember I didn't do the first week of April because I was on spring break and I wasn't planning to do anything the plan was not to plan <laughs> just to relax so this is the third week of April and it follows that same format and then I go into my fitness section and I have my 10 reasons why and um, I just like to whenever I have a goal to create reasons why and um, this is my it's laminated y'all so you know it's official it's laminated and I did this last month and um, you know I have why I want to accomplish this goal and on this side I have what the actual goal is and as you can see, I'm trying to lose 50 pounds and um, I want to get my BMI within a normal range. My deadline is August 1st. Here's my starting weight um, 
BMI and my measurements. As you can see, your girl, I got chunky. I carry all my weight in my breasts for some reason. <laughs> so I'm like about to top over. And then I have the plan on how I'm going to accomplish this goal to make it a SMART goal. And if you guys want to learn more about SMART goals, I will link to a blog post uh, that I did a couple of years ago that explains it if you're not familiar with that. All right, so over here, I have my fitness tracker page, and I really do need to take my before photo for this month. I hate taking photos. Like, I am not, like, I'm just not, like, a person that's like, oh, take a picture of me. I like to have the camera and take pictures of other people. I don't know why, but I need to um, track my measurements. These over here are from March, and I have noticed... Um, I have lost some inches and I have lost some pounds too, y'all. So, woo, woo, I need to put it on there. I have it written down somewhere else. I just need to transfer it. And then um, I do that every week. And I did this for like five weeks, even though April only has four weeks. I can use this for any of the months. As you can see, I just circle them and keep it moving. And this is one that I created for myself. And then here is my workout tracker. As you guys can see, I've been um, just this month, you know, even though it just started, I've been killing it at the gym. Boom, boom, boom. I go to um, Orange Theory Fitness. And you guys, when I tell you it's a challenge, but it is like, um, it's like the best thing for somebody like me who, if I go to a, like a regular gym, I'm gonna half ass it. And, um, they kind of keep you from doing that <laughs> because you work with a heart monitor on and you try to get in the orange zone and you're guaranteed to burn um, close to, usually I'm all over 500. Um, I've been doing this for, I think about five weeks now. I usually am over um, 500 except for on like the strength days when you're really building um you're like using the weights heavier and you know, you're not going as fast. So on those days, um, my number is always low on this day. We were late. Uh, we were late. We were 10 minutes late. So I didn't make it to 500, but usually I always kill it, go over 500, which I like. So here I have a section for notes and these are more so like personal notes and, um, like, I guess work notes will go under here too. And um, I keep this section here. And then I have like Becoming Fab stuff in the last three sections as, or stuff that pertains to Becoming Fab. So I have um, notes for Becoming Fab here. As you can see, I don't have any notes yet because I've been using this. <laughs> I made this uh, notebook and I've been using it for all my notes but I wanted to switch over and I didn't want to try to punch holes because you can see this is thick. I use this when I'm using like that bandit style journal, but, um, you know, it will work. So some of this stuff I can take out like this, I can switch this over and put this over here because I need to see this. Uh, I found this online. Uh, it's by Lennon and Lane. They put their name on it and it's a content calendar. I'm trying to get better at promoting becoming fab. And when you flip it, so that's that section. And these are just like lined paper for me when I'm writing stuff out. Then here, uh, this is more for more so for content. Um, I do like to do swaps. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any swaps for April. It's kind of hard to find people now just because of, you know, there's kind of like some... <laughs> some shady folks out there so a lot of people uh, are kind of pulling back from the Facebook groups and um, like I've been flaked on a couple of times in Facebook groups so it does kind of make it hard to find people because I usually like going that route and just meeting new people as well as um, swapping but I'm gonna have to change gears and I think I'm just gonna narrow my swaps down to folks who have a YouTube channel and it can be an opportunity for growth for both of our channels. So if you have a YouTube channel and you make videos about crafting and happy mail, hit your girl up because we can swap with each other. Yay. <laughs> 
All right, and then I have my content planner um, pages, and I like to use these. I've been using these for a while, um, and I made this myself um, to plan out my, like, well, basically to plan out my content um, for whatever videos I'm creating. And I like to do it because, like, when I'm recording, I'll have this posted, and it give me, like, the directions on, you know, what I'm what I'm supposed to talk about and then I have like this like don't forget to welcome the viewers introduce projects and I have this right here because I, when I was doing um periscope a lot I wanted to make sure that I could have like something visual to kind of like look through off screen so I make sure I was doing everything so I have like introduce project introduce yourself um present the content lead capture slash call to action and that's like you guys subscribe to my channel like go ahead and hit the button that's a call to action now go ahead and hit the button <laughs> and subscribe <laughs> all right so we have that and then like a recap and you know call to subscribe call to share you know because y'all can share this go ahead and share it and sometimes i forget to say you know what share this video and um i need to keep this over here so as i am recording I can have this posted to the side to look at um, and I usually have it in like a like a little notebook kind of like this so um, this is different because this is my um, it's not my first time in a ring bound planner but it's my first time in a long time so I probably just pop it out and stand it up to the side all right and then I have told you guys I joined B school <clears throat> and this is my Third round in B-School, I originally started in 26, no, no, I started in 2015, I believe. My first go-round was 2015, yeah. And um, I never quite made it through implementing all of B-School. So each year, I go back and go through all the modules again and try to implement something that I didn't get to do last year. So right here, I just have... Um, it's dotted uh, graph paper and what I can do is take notes and you know write all the stuff out but B school also has like these um like little fun sheets that is what they call them and I'll show you guys an example because in my March planner I still have like this was a fun sheet for that I started in March and it's kind of tacky um I got some glue on it but as you can see like she has like different stuff so as I'm doing it I'll print these out and I go through it and do my work <laughs> um so um as I do that this go round I'll just print it out on um a4 paper and I do it like as a spread and then cut it in half and that's how I get my a5 paper so that is my planner Ooh. oh and this is my planner pen it is a, I guess it's Lamy. I like it, you guys. Look at that. It's a fountain pen. This is my first um, fountain pen that I have purchased for myself when I was younger. You guys, I love fountain pens. And um, my mom had one and she gave it to me. And y'all, I had this old shady cousin that stole my pen and went to the country with it and didn't bring my pen back. And I was a little girl. I was, I think I was about nine. But I was like, you know, I want my pen. And I was telling my mom, she took my pen. And she was like, oh, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. She never brought my pen back. So let that be a lesson. Don't do stuff for the little kids. Because you can see I was nine then. But I still remember that that lady took my pen. She showed it. But now I got another fountain pen. <laughs> and I really do like this one. And I love the color. How pretty is it? And it's shiny. All right, so that's um, that's pretty much the planner, and I love this one. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby, had a 40% off coupon. Um, it is a little bit bigger than what I usually like my planners, but, you know. And here is that chunky charm, you guys. I told you I was going to show it to you. I got a little bit of everything on there. So, as you can see, we have a little bunny, and I have this Sorosti Crystal so shiny i have an anchor i love um anchors then i have like marbles and all these little 
ball things or charms. I don't even know what to call these. I have a plate for some reason. I don't know the significance of that. <laughs> I just saw the plate and liked it. Then I have a bow because I like the bow. So that's my chunky charm. I don't know if it's going to stay on here long because as you can see, it is quite chunky, but I like it. <laughs> All right, so that is it from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like it. Like, hit that like button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. And um, share this video out because your friends need to see it. They need to see it, y'all. They need to get their life together and get their planner together. So share. Don't just be looking at my videos and not sharing. I'm just kidding. All right, but that is it for me today, you guys. I'll stop being silly. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.